Hello everyone and welcome to Fuzzmaster Games coverage of the Mists of Pandaria talent changes. In each of these videos we will be going over the new talent trees for each class as well as the level 87 talent if applicable. In this video we have rogues. At the level 15 bracket we have Night Stalker, Subterfuge, and Shadow Focus. In Night Stalker it increases your speed while stealth by 20%. Subterfuge, your stealth breaks 3 seconds after dealing or receiving hostile actions rather than doing so immediately, and abilities no longer cost energy while stealth for Shadow Focus. Shadow Focus is probably what I would go with specifically because now you can open with your stealth ability and then still have plenty of energy left over for the rest of your moves. In the level 30 bracket we have Deadly Throw, Nerve Strike, and Combat Readiness. Deadly Throw is 35 energy, 30 yard range, and is instant, and it is a finishing move that reduces the movement speed of the target by 50% for 6 seconds. If performed with 5 combo points, it also interrupts spell casting and prevents any spell in that school from being cast for 6 seconds. And below you can see the damage and, and whatnot that it does. Nerve Strike, a successful kidney shot or cheap shot, also reduces the damage dealt by the target by 50% for 6 seconds after the effect fades. And Combat Readiness is on a 2 minute cooldown, and you enter into a state of heightened awareness, deflecting enemy weapon strikes with increasing effectiveness. Successive attacks will deal 10% less damage per application, stacking up to 5 times. It lasts for 20 seconds, but if 10 seconds elapse without any incoming weapon strikes, this state will end. There are many different finishing moves that have more uses to me than Deadly Throw, so I'm completely disregarding Deadly Throw. Nerve Strike, reducing the damage that they do after you lock them down is just kind of a dick move. And Combat Readiness, because I rather like RNG more than cooldowns that I have to pop. This is like evasiveness, kinda. I'm gonna go with Nerve Strike here. In level 45 bracket, we have Cheat Death, Leeching Poison, and Elusiveness. Cheat Death, an attack that would otherwise be fatal, instead reduce you to no lower than 10% of your maximum health, and damage taken will not be reduced by 80%, or wait, will be reduced, sorry I read the word cannot at the same time. Let me read that one again. An attack that would otherwise be fatal will instead reduce you to no lower than 10% of your maximum health, and damage taken will be reduced by 80% for 3 seconds. This effect cannot occur more than once per 90 seconds. Leeching Poison, 3 second cast, requires one handed melee weapon. Coats your weapons with a non lethal poison that lasts for an hour. Your melee attacks have a 50% chance to poison the target, and all your subsequent weapon strikes against the poison target will heal you for 10% of the damage dealt. And Elusiveness, your faint ability, also reduces all damage taken by 30% for 5 seconds. I'm going to go with Cheat Death, because it gives you a chance to finish off the target, with that 80, especially with that 80% damage reduction. In the level 60 bracket, we have Preparation, Shadow Step, and Burst of Speed. In preparation is 5 minute cooldown. When activated, this ability immediately finishes the cooldown on your Sprint, Vanish, Cloak of Shadows, Evasion, and Dismantle abilities. In shadow Step, 25 yard range, 24 second cooldown, step through the shadows and appear behind a target. Movement speed is increased by 70% for 2 seconds afterwards. And Burst of Speed, costing 60 energy, increases movement speed by 70% for 4 seconds. If you are afflicted by any movement impairing effects, activating this ability will instead remove any such effects and grant immunity to their reapplication for 4 seconds. All rogues have always wanted Shadow Step, I'm going with Shadow Step over the other two. At level 75, you get to choose between Deadly Brew, Paralytic Poison, and Dirty Tricks. Deadly Brew, whenever you apply one of your non-lethal poisons to a target, you also apply a Crippling Poison at the same time. Paralytic Poison is a 3 second cast, requires a one-handed melee weapon, and it coats your weapons with a non-lethal poison that lasts for an hour. Each strike has a 20% chance of poisoning the enemy for 15 seconds. Stacking up to 5 times on a single target, and upon a 5th application, the enemy will be stunned for 4 seconds. And Dirty Tricks, your gouge and blind no longer have an energy cost, and no longer break from damage dealt by your poison and bleed effects. So what you can do is 
your gouge and blind, you load somebody up with poisons, blind, and then back up, and blind again. It depends on blind's cooldown. I don't know if it's being reduced or what. But between the three of these, I would probably go with Dirty Tricks. At level 90, you get to choose between Shuriken Toss, Versatility, or Anticipation. Shuriken Toss costs 20 energy. It's a 30-yard range. It's instant, and a range, it is a ranged attack that deals 1246 physical damage to an enemy target, generates one combo point. That makes for a great opener if you need to be at range. Versatility, your redirect ability now has no cooldown. And Anticipation, when your attacks generate a combo point on a target that already has five combo points, you gain an Anticipation charge up to a maximum of five. When you perform an offensive finishing move on an enemy, any Anticipation charges are consumed to grant you an equal number of combo points on that target. So basically, you can charge up ten combo points and then pop two fully charged finishing moves. That's what Anticipation will do for you. Redirect, having no cooldown as a level 90 thing, eh. And Shuriken Toss, eh. Anticipation, definitely the way to go at level 90. And then you scroll down here to the level 87 talent, which is Shroud of Concealment, five minute cooldown, and it requires stealth, and it, it extends a cloak that wraps party and raid members within 20 yards in shadows, concealing them from sight, which means it's giving them stealth. So your level 87 talent is an AoE stealth for your party if you guys need to get around a sticky situation. That is it for the rogue coverage. If you have any questions, please post a comment below. If you know any better than me on something, also please post a comment below. If you like the video, please like the video. And if you really like the video, please subscribe to my channel. I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.